Welcome to the Photography Academy Hope for the Future Awards. These awards are brought to you by PhotographyAcademy.com. We help photographers take award-winning photos. And now, here is your host, Tim Shields. Welcome photographers. I am so happy and excited to be announcing the winning photos for the Hope for the Future photo contest. Now, a little about the name of this contest. We gave it the title of the Hope for the Future photo contest because during these uncertain times, we can focus on the beauty that is in this world. And it is our responsibility as creators to discover that beauty and capture it so we can inspire others. A people without hope perish, but we have hope, we have vision, and we have creativity. This Hope for the Future photo contest was primarily promoted within the Photography Academy Facebook group. If you would like to improve your photography, the Photography Academy Facebook group is the community you need to join. This photo contest was open for photos in seven different categories, and the categories are landscape, cityscape, wildlife, macro, portrait, abstract, and architecture. Photographers from around the world in dozens of countries submitted their photos and we had over 1200 entries. And let me tell you, the photos are beautiful. We have two different types of awards. The first are the People's Choice Awards. We asked our photo community of over 100,000 photographers to vote on their favorite photos. All public voting was blind, which means that the names of the photographers were not visible, the number of votes per photo was also not visible, and the photo gallery was generated in random order with every page load. This means that the true winners would rise to the top. We also have a second award. These are the Photography Academy Awards that are chosen by our three judges. It is time to meet your three judges. Our judges are administrators in the Photography Academy Facebook group, and they are all accomplished, award-winning photographers. Meet Wendy Klein. My name is Wendy Klein. I live in Brisbane, Australia. The photos submitted were absolutely outstanding and every category had strong images. Even if you don't win, the experience will make you a better photographer. Well done, everybody, and good luck. Meet Annette Undheim. Hello, my name is Annette Undheim, and I live in Sannes, Norway. The photos submitted in the competition were outstanding, and you should be really proud of yourself if you enter the competition. Good luck. And meet Asa Solvi. Hi, my name is Orsa Solvi and I live in Bergen, Norway. I'm really impressed about the quality of the submitted photos. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. All right, those are our three judges. And together they assigned a point score to over 1,200 photos based on originality, composition, and the overall impact of the photo. Tim, it is time to announce the awards. Judges, are we ready to give out some awards? Good luck, Good luck everybody. Everyone. Good, Good luck. luck. The first category is for macro photos. There is an entire world that is too small for our eyes to see, but macro photographers bring this tiny world to life by capturing the small and making it big. Macro photography takes patience and a practiced eye to find beauty in the little details of life. Here are the nominees for the macro photography category. Carpenter Bee at Rest by Stan Wasilewski. Caterpillar by Antonio Andrews. And Change of Seasons by Petra Schlechter. And the PhotographyAcademy.com award for best macro photo goes to Carpenter Bee at Rest by Stan Wasilewski. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Wilmington, North Carolina. And my name is Stan Wasilewski. And as a photo enthusiast, to receive a winning recognition from a photo contest feels good, 
in the sense that it gives you a sense of validation that you must be doing something correct. And I will have to also say that when one participates in the excellent auditorial learning package that Tim Shields and his colleagues have put together, you really can't help but advance your skills as a photographer. So I thank you very much, Tim, and I appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, Stan, and congratulations. It is important for all of us to analyze and break down the winning elements of an award-winning photo. I call this reverse engineering a photo. And when you do this, you will improve your own photography. Stan's winning photo has a number of things going for it. It has a clear main subject, the focus is tack sharp, the background is intentionally blurred out so there are no distractions in the frame. This is storytelling in a photo. Well done, Stan Washleski. The next award is for the wildlife photo category. Wildlife photos can be exceedingly difficult to capture because the photographer's subjects are moving and unscripted. The photographer never knows what the subject will do next or which direction they will move. Lighting and backgrounds change in a heartbeat, so an award-winning wildlife photo is like capturing lightning. The nominees for Best Wildlife Photo are The Harsh Truth of Life by Anatoly Zverev Love Is by Jill Lancaster and The Three-Week-Old Hope of the Salt River Wild Horse Herd by Brent Shetler And the PhotographyAcademy.com award for Best Wildlife Photo goes to Love Is by Jill Lancaster Hello, I am Jill Lancaster. I am from the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. Um, thank you for the award. It feels so good to be an award-winning photographer. Thank you. Congratulations, Jill. Your photo is true art. There is raw emotion in this photo. Look at the high contrast between the bright birds and the dark background. The focus is spot on. There are no distractions in the frame and nothing that takes away from the two main subjects. Notice the balance and symmetry from side to side in this picture. This is truly an award-winning photo. Excellent work, Jill Lancaster. Abstract photography requires the eye and the heart of a true artist. Famous painters have perfected the art of creating an abstract painting, but creating an abstract photograph is just as difficult. It could be said that photographing a mountain is easy, but finding reoccurring patterns that are attractive to the eye in the natural landscape is one of the most challenging aspects of being a photographer. We call these photos abstracts. The nominees for Best Abstract Photos are Vortex by Ashley Getz, Hope by Stan Fellerman, Light and Shadow Palette by Dmitry Pazikov and the PhotographyAcademy.com award for Best Abstract Photo goes to Light and Shadow Palette by Dmitry Pazikov. My name is Dmitry Pazikov, I'm from Wisconsin, uh, USA. I'm very excited to receive this award. It means a lot uh, for an amateur photographer to receive the recognition uh, for my work from uh, such a reputable organization. Uh, thanks to the team personally for multiple courses that uh, changed my approach to photography and to all of the great photographers posting on the Facebook from who I learn every day. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Dimitri. Your photo is a winner because you found abstract art in the middle of a busy landscape. There are multiple color temperatures in your image with colder tones in the bottom and warmer tones near the top. Yet there is just one dominant color tone throughout the frame. Your photo has a clear main subject and focal point, and there is a sense of symmetry to the image. This is a gorgeous photo. Very well done. Beautiful photography is not just confined to the natural outdoors, but fine art photos can also be created from man-made structures. Some structures were built with a sense of symmetry, reoccurring patterns, and curved lines that transitions them from a building into an art form. 
Capturing that art form and converting it into one-dimensional images is the challenge for every architecture photographer. The nominees for Best Architecture Photo are Glasgow Uni Cloisters by John Sullivan, Old Sheldon Church Infrared Faux Color by Charles Height, and King's Cross by Michael Hanrahan and the PhotographyAcademy.com award for Best Architecture Photo goes to Glasgow Uni Cloisters by John Sullivan. My name is John Sullivan and I stay in Greenock on the west coast of Scotland. I am delighted and truly grateful to receive this award from PhotoAcademy.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's reverse engineer this winning photo. John converted the color image into black and white, which gives the image a timeless and classic look with no distractions created by extra color tones. The image has incredible balance and symmetry, which is always pleasing to the eye, and it has curved lines and reoccurring patterns that speak to intrigue. Finally, the lines of columns and the streak of light on the floor create leading lines that direct the viewer's eye to the back of the photo. This is an absolutely fantastic image, John. Congratulations. One of my favorite photo genres are cityscape photos. These photos challenge photographers to the max as they strive to find secret vantage points where they can photograph an entire city skyline in a way that will show off the majesty of the city. But not just that, cityscape photos are taken at the perfect time of day after the sun has set and when the city lights have turned on. The nominees for best cityscape photo are Night Stroll in Vancouver by Henry Tom, Downtown Calgary by Annette Murty, The Rhine River at Deutsches Eck by Steffi Lang, and the PhotographyAcademy.com award for best cityscape photo goes to the Rhine River at Deutsches Eck by Steffi Lang. My name is Steffi Lang from Bremen, and I will thank you so much for this award. I feel so good to be, to know that I am a award-winning photographer. This really means a lot to me, and all these years of work, training, and education paid off. Thank you so much for this award. Thank you, guys. Let's analyze what is working in this photo. Notice the horizon line is on the top third line, so Steffi used the rule of thirds for this composition. She waited to take the photo during what I call the golden minute, which is the time when the ambient light in the sky matches the city lights. The composition also takes advantage of the leading line from the river, which leads the viewer's eye to the back of the photo where there is an incredible sunset. And finally, notice the starburst effect on some of the city lights. Very well done, Steffi Lang. Advertisers know that there is nothing more intriguing than the face of another person, which is why photos of people dominate advertisement images. Capturing drama and emotion in a way that tells a story with just one photo of a person is the pinnacle of portrait photography success. These are the images that withstand the winds of time. The nominees for best portrait photo are Closer to Your Dream by Devashis Roy, Belief by Judy Langley, I Was You Bubby by Kevin Mears, and the PhotographyAcademy.com award for Best Portrait Photo goes to Belief by Judy Langley. Hi, I'm Judy from Brisbane, Australia, and I'm really, really excited to accept this award. It's my very first photography award, and I'd like to send out a really big thank you to Tim and all the judges and everybody who voted for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Judy, you are welcome. The judges selected this image in part because the theme of this contest is hope for the future, and this photo perfectly demonstrates that hope that we all need right now. This is a composite image made by superimposing the sky from a sunset over top of a portrait of a young woman. There are just two color tones in the image and it has the look of being a watercolor. Studio photographers who take portrait photos use powerful lights to control the lighting on their subject. 
But landscape photographers have no such lights. In fact, God controls the light. This is what makes landscape photography so frustrating and so rewarding at the same time. Landscape photographers can travel to the same spot for countless sunrises and sunsets, hoping for the perfect dramatic sky. They plan out their shots, sometimes a year in advance, to be in the right place at the right time to capture the perfect weather, the perfect sun position, the perfect moon position, the perfect seasonal colors and foliage, and most importantly, the perfect composition. And when all these elements come together, the landscape photographer creates true fine art that was inspired by the earth, the elements, the season, and the heart of the photographer. The nominees for best landscape photo are Bringing in the Horses by Bill Werner, Isle of Sky the Needle by Bob Ferguson, Camels on Cable Beach Australia by Philip O'Leary, and the PhotographyAcademy.com award for best landscape photo goes to Bringing in the Horses by Bill Werner. My name is Bill Werner and I live in Prineville, Oregon. Thank you so much for this award and I want to thank everyone who voted for my photograph in this competition. It feels great to be an award-winning photographer and it validates all the work I put into my photography. Thanks again. Congratulations, Bill. This photo has an unscripted wildness about it. The sun is low and it is backlighting the horses, which causes the dust to become more prominent, which adds to the overall contrast and drama of the image. The group of horses are balanced from side to side, and overall, there is a mood and feeling that comes from this photo. Well done, Bill Werner. What does it mean to be a photographer? What is it that moves us from deep within to keep striving and learning? Have you given that any thought? Why is it that we do what we do? What is it about photography that hits us in the heart? I think this says it best. I am a photographer. I am a photographer. I am a photographer. I am a photographer. We are the photographers and we are different from everyone else. I explore. I explore. I explore. We explore. We look for the beauty in the little things and we find the greatness in the big things. We find beauty in places no one else sees. I create. I create. I create. We create. We create our own art. We freeze time. We create lasting memories and leave behind a legacy forever. I inspire others. I inspire others. I inspire others. We inspire. And through creating, we inspire others and move them through the emotion in our photos. I am a photographer. 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 We are the photographers and we are lifelong learners. We never stop moving forward. Join me and together let's explore, create and inspire. Watch the free web class that begins immediately after this award presentation. And next we have the PhotographyAcademy.com People's Choice Awards. The winning photos were chosen through a blind voting system by our Photography Academy community at large. Thousands of votes were cast, and here are the winners. The PhotographyAcademy.com People's Choice Award for Best Macro Photo goes to Portrait of a Wasp by Rita Hamadou. The PhotographyAcademy.com People's Choice Award for Best Abstract Photo goes to Vortex by Ashley Getz. The PhotographyAcademy.com People's Choice Award for Best Architecture Photo goes to Glasgow Uni Cloisters by John Sullivan. The PhotographyAcademy.com People's Choice Award for Best Cityscape Photo goes to The Violinist by Mickey Maya. 
the photographyacademy.com People's Choice Award for Best Portrait Photo goes to The Boys at the Piano by Tree Rabold. The photographyacademy.com People's Choice Award for Best Wildlife Photo goes to Breaking Bread by Cindy Jones. And finally, the photographyacademy.com People's Choice Award for Best Landscape Photo goes to Kinbane Sunrise by Michael McCafferty. Wow, we have seen some incredibly beautiful photos today. You will be able to see all the winning photos from this contest at photographyacademy.com. Just look for the contest link and the winning photos will be posted one hour after this presentation ends. Now, if you want to know how to take your own award-winning photos, I have one piece of advice for you. You need to use a four-step system. A four-step system built on the four pillars of great photography, and they are find it, frame it, take it, and retouch it. Great photographers are not born. They learn their craft. And if you would like to know how to take your own beautiful, award-winning photos using the camera you already own and without complicated and boring explanations, then stay right here because I will show you the four-step system that is helping thousands of photographers just like you take their own award-winning photos. Keep watching this video and as soon as the closing credits are over, I will join you again and show you the four secrets to beautiful photos. So don't go anywhere. Congratulations to all the winners and to everyone who submitted a photo to this Hope for the Future photo contest. Your photos were outstanding. Keep exploring and creating and by doing so, you will inspire yourself and you will inspire others. Bye-bye. Tonight's presentation was brought to you by PhotographyAcademy.com. We help photographers take award-winning photos. This presentation was produced by Fernando Juarez, Executive Producer, Tim Shields. Production Coordinator, Lauren Jane. Promotion, Michael Mataluni. Advisors, Kit Rudd and Terry Martin. VoiceOver, Nick Sleeper. A big thank you to our judges, Wendy Klein, Asa Solvig, and Annette Undheim for their hard work and expertise. And a final thank you to the Photography Academy community who submitted photos and cast votes. We look forward to seeing your photos in our next PhotographyAcademy.com photo contest. Hello photographers, weren't, weren't those some incredible photos? I just get so inspired when I see them, especially during times like this. Just seeing beautiful photos does something for my soul, for my heart, and I hope they inspire you just like they inspire me. So you may be in one of two camps right now as a viewer to these awards. You may be in the camp where you say, oh man, I'm just a beginner and my photos will never get up to that level of that award-winning level. Or you may be in the other camp where you say, well, I'm already a pretty good photographer, but I just need that one extra little thing to boost my photography up to the next level. And what is really interesting, now keep in mind, I had nothing to do with the judging of any of these awards. They were done by volunteers and it was blind voting. So the volunteers didn't know who the photographers were. And yet, more than half of the photographers have completed the Photography Academy four-step system. They are using it to take now their own award-winning photos. Now, your goal may not be to take award-winning photos. Your goal may just be to take awesome photos that you're really proud of. Maybe you want to print your photos and put them on the wall, or maybe you want to sell your work at some point. Maybe you just want some recognition so that you kind of know inside, I have what it takes. That was definitely me. So I'm going to show you now what 
the exact blueprint is that the top 1% of photographers are doing differently that the other 99% are not. And this is the result of years and years and years of research for me, of testing and battle testing all of my knowledge. And I have come up with really what it is that everybody is doing differently to be taking these type of award-winning photos. So who is this for? This is for whether or not you are a beginning photographer, an intermediate photographer, or you're already an advanced photographer. And it apl applies to all types of photography. It applies to macro, to wildlife, cityscape, landscape, abstract, portrait, and architecture. So I want to start out by just telling you about the time when I took the picture of the best sunset of my life. And it was 11 years ago. It was in September 2009. And at that time, there were a number of consecutive amazing sunsets that were happening every day and they were just getting better and better and on this one particular day I could see that the clouds were forming up and it was going to be a stunner it was going to be the best sunset of all and I wanted to go and get that shot get my glory shot of the best sunset that I would have ever seen in my life now at that time I was an amateur photographer and I used to go to the website Flickr a lot that's kind of the the Instagram of back then and on Flickr, I had no following whatsoever. I saw there were all of these photography rock stars on Flickr. They got all the likes and the shares and the comments with their photos, but I could never replicate their success. I was always striving and trying to get better and better photos, but I just couldn't seem to do it. And on this one night of the perfect sunset, I thought, okay, this is my chance. So on that night, I went to the top of a cliff that overlooked the ocean with my wife and the sunset came out and sure enough, bam, this is the actual sunset. Now this is a, a photo, it's just a JPEG, straight out of the camera, no retouching whatsoever. And this is how that sunset was. It literally was the best sunset I had ever seen in my life with all these blue tones and purple tones and pink tones and oranges in the background. Like it was just beyond 10 out of 10. So I was so excited that I had got this shot and I thought, okay, now I've taken the best photo of my life. I went back home, put the, the photo into the computer and then I started to realize, wait a minute, this, yeah, it's an amazing sunset, but there's something missing here. There's no main subject. There's no foreground. There are no elements of good composition like leading lines or framing. And in the end, I did nothing with this photo. You know the old saying of being in the right place at the right time? Well, I was at the right time, but I was at the wrong place because I didn't really have a set system, a set number of steps that I could use to take great photos. So at that time, this is kind of where I was. That's me over on the left. And there was this big gap, like a chasm that I had to jump across somehow to get up to the other side where I would finally be able to attain amazing photos. And I couldn't cross the gap for the life of me. I couldn't do it. It was always, I would think, oh, it's my retouching or it's my camera settings or I just need to be in the right place at the right time. I need better subjects, but I just couldn't cross the gap. So I poured myself into study. I took literally thousands of hours of study, watching videos, reading books from the greats like Joe McNally, Peter Lick, Ansel Adams, and even the great Renaissance painters looking at their use of color and light and composition. And years later, I was able to develop what I now call the four-step system, which is just a set of very simple steps that anyone can use in order to be able to take absolutely stunning photos every single time. And it's so simple, you're going to, once you see it, you're gonna say, oh, this looks so easy. Why didn't I think of this? But here we go. So the four steps. There's the gap there that I needed to cross and I needed like a staircase to get me up. And I simplified the four steps down into the most simple four words you can ever believe. And it's find it, frame it, take it, retouch it. And that is how I found success that I'm going to tell you about in a minute that got me up to that place and crossed the gap so that I could take amazing photos. Now, I'll tell you just really briefly what I mean by what these steps are. Find it means 
being in the right place at the right time, researching in advance, planning so that you know exactly what you're looking for when you get there. Number two, frame it. That's all about composition and how you use the rules of composition to create storytelling within your photos and preferably that you stack the rules of composition. You use multiple rules at the same time. And then step three, take it. This is all about the using the right camera settings, but using the most simple camera settings that you can so that your photo will be tack sharp and it will be correctly exposed. And finally, step four, retouch. Retouch is like the icing on the cake where I am adding drama to my photos by painting with light. And I'm painting in light on the areas I want the viewer to see and I'm painting in darkness in the areas that I don't want the viewers to see. So moving on to the next slide here, there we are. And so Picture it like this. Just pretend that you are the great pyramid architect from 2,000 years ago and you're building a pyramid and level one is the foundation. That's the find it. And so if that foundation is not solid and anchored and level and true, then nothing that you build above the foundation is going to last through the, the winds of time. Step two, frame it. It has to be built upon level one. And then take it has to be built on top and finally the retouch it. So if any of those four steps are not complete, if there are mistakes that were made in any of the four steps, then the pyramid is going to come crumbling down. And as you get higher and higher, if you look on the left side there, as you get higher and higher up the pyramid, you move from having a boring photo to an average photo to a photo where people say, hey, nice. And then to a photo where people say, hey, wow. And then finally, an award-winning photo, like magazine quality photo. So once I finally got the four-step system mastered and once I was able to use it in every photo setting, this is the type of photo that I was then able to take, where there's storytelling and drama in the photo. Photos where I was always at the right place at the right time, getting the perfect composition, getting the perfect camera settings, getting the perfect amount of retouching. And it changed my photography forever. And once I got this four-step system nailed down and simplified it, I was able to teach it to others. And now thousands of people are using it and literally winning awards with the system. So what was I able to achieve finally once I started to use the four-step system. I achieved my designation as a master photographer in fine art. I won a prestigious award, the International Nature Photographer of the Year. I'm now a full-time landscape photographer, a trainer, and a coach. I'm the founder of photographyacademy.com, but most importantly of all is that I help people like you become award-winning photographers using that same four-step system. So just take a listen to what one of the photographers in our photography community has to say. Her name is Terry Martin. She's from Oregon and she is now an award-winning photographer after using this same four-step system that I just told you about. I took the photography transformation class when I started I was just a beginner and my photos were just so-so. And now I'm an award-winning photographer. I took the photography transformation class when I started. I was just a beginner and my photos were just so-so. And now I'm an award-winning photographer. And my photography is exhilarating and I have fun when I go do it because I feel like I know what I'm doing now. Here is what we're going to be covering in this web class. These are my three secrets to taking gorgeous photos. Secret number one, how to take your own magazine quality outdoor photos even if you don't know where to go or what to photograph. Secret number two, how to create photos that are super sharp and in focus even if you don't understand how to choose the right settings for your camera. And secret number three, how to add amazing drama to your photos by painting with light even if you have no experience in photo editing. So let's get started and look at secret number one, how to take your own magazine quality outdoor photos even if you don't know where to go or what to photograph. Let me start here with a quick story. More than a decade ago, I was with my family on a vacation in Las Vegas when I walked into an art gallery that was owned by Peter Lick. Now he is perhaps the most famous landscape photographer in the world. Peter Lick is originally from Australia and he has galleries worldwide. His landscape photos are beyond belief in their beauty and they sell for thousands of dollars each. 
That day in Peter Lick's gallery, I saw a photo of a rock arch and I was mesmerized by it. The rock arch is called Mesa Arch and it is located in the state of Utah. And from that very moment, I knew that I had to make a pilgrimage to this arch so I could photograph it myself. I wanted my own photo of Mesa Arch where the sun was rising right under the middle of the arch and I wanted my photo to be as good as Peter Lick's photo. So years later in 2016, I planned a trip to travel to Mesa Arch with my wife. We flew to Las Vegas, rented an RV and drove to Canyonlands National Park in Utah, which is where Mesa Arch is located. Early in the morning, while it was still pitch black, we got out of our RV and walked along the trail that led to the arch. When we arrived in front of the arch, there were three photographers there already, and I stood beside one of them and began setting up my camera. It was still too dark to see, so I said hi to the guy next to me. And when he said hi back, I could hear that he had an Australian accent, and somehow I instantly knew that the guy beside me was Peter Lick. He was there with two assistants and obviously he was there to photograph the arch at sunrise on the very same day that I was. The first emotion I felt when I realized I was standing beside perhaps the best landscape photographer in the world was one of fear. Oh no, what if I mess up this photo shoot? My mission here will be a failure and I will look totally incompetent in front of Peter Lick. But... I was armed with my new secret weapon because I had a four-step system to use. So here's a question. Why was the world's greatest landscape photographer at Mesa Arch on the very same morning that I was? Was it just a coincidence? No, not at all. And this brings me to step one of the four-step system, which is how to be in the right place at the right time to get the perfect light. You see, I had already completed step one of the four-step system before I arrived at Mesa Arch that morning. Step one is how to use free online apps and simple tricks that told me exactly what day of the year I needed to be there so the sun would rise exactly under the middle of the arch. And not only that, step one also told me what time the sun would rise and even though I had not been to Mesa Arch before, I already knew exactly how I wanted my photo to look because I had made comparisons with existing photos of the same place using easy online searches. There was no guessing for me because step one told me what day to be there, what time to be there, and what my photo needed to look like once I arrived. So back to the story. The darkness soon became light and the sun was just about to rise over the horizon. I was standing there with my wife on one side and Peter Lick on the other and this incredible rock arch was in front of us. I leaned forward and looked through the viewfinder of my camera. Now, the old me would have been asking, how do I take this photo? Where should I place the rock arch in the viewfinder of my camera? Where should the horizon be? But step two of the four-step system covers this. Step two is how to choose a composition that is appealing to the eye. Now, a composition is specifically knowing what to point your camera at so your photo will look its best. There are two important things to know about compositions. Number one, there are tried and true rules of composition that have been used for hundreds of years by the classic painters. And when you use these same rules of composition in your photos, you will always be assured of taking a photo that looks exceptional. And you can use these rules even if you're taking pictures with your iPhone. The real secret here is not to use just one of the classic rules of composition, but to use as many as possible inside the same picture. And the second important principle to know about getting great compositions is using storytelling through your compositions. And what do I mean by that? Well, every good story has a hero, and that hero usually has friends, and there is always a villain. So when you look at a scene, you need to identify the hero, identify any villains, and identify any friends of the hero. Then when you look through the viewfinder of your camera, you want to tell that hero's story by cropping out the villains and including the hero's friends. So back at Mesa Arch, 
when I used the tried and true rules of composition and when I applied storytelling to my photo composition, I knew exactly how to frame up my picture in the viewfinder. There was no guesswork and no head scratching. Step two of the four step system was done. So the sun began to rise up over the horizon. By that time, there were about 75 people there at the arch to photograph the sunrise. You can imagine how intimidating it could be to be standing beside the best landscape photographer in the world as I took my photos, but I felt good and I felt confident because I had a step-by-step -step system to use and I didn't need to worry about being embarrassed in front of him. As the sun rose, I started taking photos that were directly into the sun. Normally, this is something photographers avoid, but step three of the four-step system ensured that I knew exactly how to adjust the camera so that the photos were sharp and the sky would not be washed out and white. That's step three. Step four was for later. This is how to add drama to the finished photo using my computer, but more on that in a few minutes. When the photo shoot was over, Peter Lick posed for a photo with me, and he also posed for a photo with my wife, Leah, and then we went our separate ways. So here is my photo that I took on that morning. I love this photo and I'm proud of it. I printed it large and to this day, it's on the wall here in my studio. And what is even more important for me personally is that I like my photo more than I like Peter Lick's photo. And this is important because your photography is your art and you need to do it for you and not for anyone else. I used a four step system to take this photo and it's like following a recipe for success that I can use every time I take pictures. I already introduced you to my student Wendy Klein from Brisbane, Australia. Wendy uses the same step-by-step -step system to take all of her photos. She just follows the steps and what results are absolutely incredible photos. And now she is teaching others how to do the same thing and you can do it too. So here is the undeniable truth for secret number one. Taking amazing photos is all about using a repeatable four-step system. It is the formula for success. Secret number two, how to create photos that are super sharp and in focus, even if you don't understand how to choose the right settings on your camera. Many people think I'm not good at technical stuff and don't fully understand how to use the settings on my camera. Well, I'm here to tell you that this is not your fault. I'm here to take that burden off your shoulders. You don't need to know it all. There are just two goals you need to achieve through your camera settings. The first goal is getting a sharp photo. And by sharp, I mean a photo with no blur. And the second goal of camera settings is getting a correctly exposed photo. And by that, I mean not having areas of the photo that are too bright or too dark. Those are the big two goals you need to achieve when you take a picture, sharp and correctly exposed. But here's the thing. You just need to be shown how to let the camera do the heavy lifting for you. Your camera has a computer inside it and you can use that computer to your advantage to get correctly exposed photos every time by taking control of your camera and getting it out of auto mode. Let me tell you a story. Five years ago, it was autumn and the fall colors were out in full force. So my wife and I decided to go to a local park that has excellent fall color foliage so that we could get some new fall color photos. Leah wanted to come home with an amazing photo, but she was intimidated by camera settings and found them confusing. She loved the creativity aspect of photography, but didn't like learning about technical camera settings. So we drove to an ornamental garden park. It was bursting with reds and yellows. The sun was shining, the sky was blue. We each had our own cameras and it was the perfect time of year to get these type of great photos. But Leah's camera was in auto mode and all her pictures were coming out with a washed out sky. And by that, I mean a sky that is so bright that it looked pure white. Washed out skies are the number one frustration of outdoor photographers. So Leah tried to use manual mode and everything was either too dark or far too bright. In frustration, she put her camera away and pulled out her iPhone and began taking photos with the phone. This is why I created step three of the four step system, which is how to use your camera in an easy and simple way. I saw what was happening and I asked her if she would like to learn an easier way. 
It's called Aperture Priority Mode. I call this letting your camera do the heavy lifting for you. A camera is, as I mentioned, just like a computer. It just needs to be guided by the user depending on the type of photo the user wants. Using Aperture Priority Mode is an easy two-step process. First, decide how much you want to be in focus. This is called depth of field. Do you want everything in focus from the foreground to the background? Or do you just want something in the foreground to be in focus and you want the background to be blurry? She quickly saw that by choosing a small aperture number, she could focus on a small detail in the foreground, such as a flower, and have everything in the background out of focus. This is one way of creating contrast in a photo. And when she saw that, it was like a light went on. It was her aha moment. Then she discovered that by choosing a higher aperture number, she could get both the foreground and the background in focus. The photo would be sharp in the foreground and in the background. And finally, she learned how easy it is to use a little button called exposure compensation to darken a photo that is too bright or to brighten a photo that is too dark. When Leah discovered how easy it was to let her camera do the heavy lifting, it changed her photography forever from that day on. She started running around those gardens with her camera looking for super creative compositions and then she found this one. She ended up taking this photo on that day. She loved this photo so much we got it printed and it's hanging on our living room wall even today. And isn't that what photography is all about? It's about creating your own work of art that you will be proud of for years to come. So people will come over to our home and visit and look at that photo and say, wow, Tim, I really like that photo. And I proudly tell them that it isn't my photo, it's Leah's photo. I always look over at Leah when I say that and I love to watch the smile on her face. It's a good and healthy thing to be proud of the artwork that you create. And hanging your photography on the wall at home is a great way to do that. Listen to what one of my students had to say. Her name is Meryl Fury Contreras, and she's from California, USA. She said, it was like a light clicked on. After struggling with the exposure triangle, I took your lessons and turned a passion of mine into an art. Some photographers might think that learning camera settings takes hours and hours of sifting through a boring camera manual, but this isn't true. Using one simple setting on your camera and making quick adjustments can be taught to you in one sitting, and this will work for 95% of the photos you take. Or you might also be thinking that while fiddling with camera settings, you will be so distracted you will miss the shot that you want to take. Not true. The settings I teach you to use are like a set it and forget it type of setting. You will be able to take control over your camera while at the same time allowing your camera to do the work. So here is an absolute truth. You can use a simple camera setting so your camera will do the heavy lifting for you. You do not need to be a technical person to create beautiful photos. Secret number three. How to add amazing drama to your photos by painting with light, even if you have no experience in photo editing. Many photographers find that editing a photo on a computer is confusing and overly complicated, but I am going to show you an easy way to paint with light so you can add drama to your photos the easy way. Let me give you an example of what I mean. When I first began editing my photos many years ago on the computer, I used Photoshop. All I wanted to do was to make my photos look professional and dramatic, and I didn't want to be working on my photos for hours at a time. But I found Photoshop to be difficult to learn, overly complex, and too expensive. This is because Photoshop was not made for photographers. It was made for graphic designers. And then I discovered Lightroom. It is made specifically for photographers, and now you can get it for only $9.99 per month. I began learning Lightroom and I found it so much easier than Photoshop, but my photos still didn't look as good as I wanted them to. Then I discovered how to use Lightroom to paint in light into my photos and this changed everything. Let me show you what I mean. Here is a photo of birch trees that I took. I wanted the photo to look dramatic and engaging. so. I used the paintbrush tool to paint in light in the spaces between the trees. And presto, the photo instantly became more dramatic. Here is the before again and the after. 
before and after. I submitted this photo to a photo competition and it won an award. And then there is this photo of a Japanese maple tree. The photo on its own was nice, but not dramatic. So I used the brush tool to paint in light only on the trunk and branches of the tree. Look at the result. Here is the before and after. Before, after. Such an incredible difference and only through painting in the light. I submitted this photo to a large photo competition and it won eighth place out of more than 2,400 entries. I was super happy with that and all because I used that one simple brush tool to paint in the light. Listen to what one of my students said after learning this technique. Her name is Rachel Myers from the USA and she was so excited to learn this new way of editing her photos, she wrote, the brush, the brush, the brush. This is now permanently embedded into my brain. Such a wonderful tool you introduced me to in Lightroom. I wish I would have known how to use this on some of my pre-class photos. I'll have to go back and re-edit them using this new tool. So grateful for you, Tim, our awesome instructor. So here's the truth. Once you understand how easy it is to use the brush tool inside Lightroom, you can add drama to all your photos by painting in the light, even if you have no experience with photo editing. If I can do it, and my students can do it, then you can do it too. So let me ask you a question. Are you enjoying the webinar so far? I hope your answer is yes, because I have shown you that you can create the gorgeous photos you have always wanted. And the reason I know this is because all my other students have been successful, just like you can. So here's what we've covered so far. Secret number one, how to take your own magazine quality outdoor photos, even if you don't know where to go or what to photograph. Secret number two, how you can create photos that are super sharp and in focus, even if you don't understand how to choose the right settings on your camera. And secret number three, how to add amazing drama to your photos by painting with light, even if you have no experience in photo editing. So here is the question. Do you want to take your photos to the next level? And I hope the answer to that question is yes. So I want to introduce you to the Photography Transformation Masterclass. This is the four-step system to create your own magazine quality photos. This is the four-step system that helps you create your own award-winning photos that make people ask, wow, did you take that? I show you how you can do this without complicated photo editing, without confusing explanations, and without wasting money on new camera gear that doesn't result in better photos. So here is what you're going to get because we have put together an amazing bundle offer here that you're not going to believe. So this is the four step transformation photography system. In module one of this masterclass, it's perfect planning and research. This is how to be in the right place at the right time to get the perfect light. Module two is concrete compositions. This is how to know what you should point your camera at to get the most beautiful photos. Module three, crushing camera settings. This is how to use very simple camera settings that are going to allow you to take tack sharp photos. Module four, professional post processing. Even if you have never post processed a photo before or edited a photo on a computer, or even if you have been doing it for years, this is the easy way to add drama and lights and darks into your photo to make gorgeous photos. Bonus module number one is how to make prints that pop. So actually how to export your photo and get it out of the computer so that you can print your photo large and put it on the wall at home. Bonus module number two, savvy social media contests and sales. And here we're talking about growing your online social media presence, your Instagram, how to enter contests, how to win them and how to sell photography. And bonus number three is more on photo editing to add drama to your photos. So with this masterclass, you will get your own login so that you can watch the video content just like Netflix. You can watch the videos from any device, including your phone, your tablet, and your computer. It's just like watching Netflix because you can watch for 30 minutes one night, then you can stop, you can come back to it later, watch the same part over and over, 
and you will have lifetime access to all of these videos. So here's what you're going to get with this masterclass. There is over eight hours of video content. You will get lifetime access. You can watch the videos from any device. There are closed caption subtitles in English on these videos. If you sometimes don't have access to the internet, you can download the lessons if you wish. You can also watch question and answer sessions at the end of each video lesson. Also, after each lesson, there is a skill assignment for you and it's a challenge for you. And in these videos, I'm going to push you and I'm going to push you so that you will follow all the way through from taking a photo to printing your best photo so you can put it on your wall at home. So here's proof. Terry Martin from Oregon, USA wrote in and said, I wasn't pleased with my photographs and had no path forward to the next level. Tim's videos guided me to making photos I am proud of. His course made everything literally click. My friends are now saying my photographs should be printed and hung on my wall. And Terry Martin has gone on since she wrote this testimonial and she has won photography awards with her photography. And she gives credit to the Photography Transformation Masterclass for her photography success. So here's another testimonial from Dimitri who took the masterclass. He just wrote this testimonial yesterday. He said, a bit more than six months ago, I took Tim's course. Before that, all my images were sitting on my hard drive and I had 20 followers on Instagram. Now I have several awards from different websites. I have 300 plus followers. And today I put up my first exhibit in a local coffee shop. Thank you, Tim Shields. I love this testimonial. It's really exciting because I'm seeing Dimitri's success. And I know that if you apply yourself to this training, you can have the same success as well. And here is a personal message I received through Facebook from Candy. She said, I cannot tell you how happy I am. I signed up for your classes. I've been so inspired and learned so much. I use Lightroom like I never have before. My portraits are even so much better. I am spending so much time looking back through my trips and editing photos and loving them. Thanks. So who does this work for? Well, this works for people who are beginners in photography and who want to create their own stunning photos. It also works for experienced photographers who want to take their photography to the next level and win photo awards. And it works for advanced photographers who want to create a body of fine art photography that sells. Now, I have spoken with thousands of photographers in the course of teaching this masterclass. And I've had so many people tell me that they've been doing photography for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, all the way back to the darkroom days. And still this masterclass has helped them advance their photography to new levels that they never thought were possible. So the number one reason why people don't get started is that you might be thinking you can't get started because you don't have time, but you can take this training at your own pace. Even if you are on holidays, you can watch the course content on your phone wherever you are. The number two reason why people don't get started is that you might be thinking you can't get going because you are not traveling. You're staying at home right now. Well, this training will show you how to take your own amazing photos at home in your backyard and how to find fantastic photo locations that you don't even know about close to where you live. So here's what you're going to get so far and stay with me because there's lots more coming. You're going to get the landscape photography transformation four step system and it has a value of $997. But you are also going to get access to the landscape photography mastermind. Now this is a private closed group that you will get access to. It will be your support community for the duration of the masterclass and it is where you will post your assignments from the masterclass. So you will be able to, with this mastermind group, share your experience with other students, get feedback from me and other community members, share ideas and creativity, get inspired because a rising tide lifts all boats, ask questions in a safe and respectful closed group setting. And we have just one common goal within this closed group, and that is to help you get your photography to the next level. So with this mastermind, problem solved, no more losing motivation because you feel alone, no more giving up because you have a lack of motivation, no more asking questions online only to be met with silence or sarcasm, and no more not knowing who to ask. 
This is about saving time and saving money because it speeds up your photography development. You don't waste unnecessary finances on gear that really is not going to improve your photography. You save yourself years of failures as a lone wolf learner and you get access to a powerful community so you can get the help you need when you need it. You might be thinking that you don't like to participate in groups, but that's not a problem because even if you choose not to post your work in the group, you will learn from the comments and photos of everyone else in the group. You might be thinking that you can't use the group because you are already so busy, but that's not true because you can ask questions 24 hours a day and get responses at your convenience. So the value of the Landscape Photography Mastermind is $497. So here's what we're at so far. You're going to get the Masterclass and you're going to get access to the closed group, the Mastermind. And the total value of this is $1,494. But stay with me because I have some really good news coming right up. So you are also going to get, as part of this Masterclass bundle, the Photography Post-Processing Tools Bundle. Now, what are these post-processing tools? These are presets. Now, these help you in such a dramatic way to edit your photos using Lightroom quicker and easier than ever before, sometimes with only one click. So here's an example. Here is a before on the left, a before the preset was applied, and then we applied a preset, and that's the after on the right-hand side. And this was like literally a one-click photo edit once the preset was applied. Here's one more example, or actually there's two examples here. Uh, on the top left, Maureen Lake before, top right, Maureen Lake after. And on the bottom row, before and after of a Paris photo. This is after a preset has been applied to Lightroom, which is the photo editing software. And it just makes photo editing so incredibly easy. So as part of this little tools bundle, you get one set of mobile presets. These are presets that you can install into the Lightroom app on your phone if you want to. And then you get three collections that you would install into Lightroom on your computer. The one on the right is my signature Lightroom presets collection. I have sold well over 6,000 of this collection on its own. And uh, it is, I, I can't say enough good things about this preset collection over on the right because it helped me literally win the award of international nature photographer of the year with Master Photographers International. I came home from a trip that I'd been on for a month, a, a one month long photo trip with my wife, and I wanted to enter this prestigious awards competition. I only had days to do it. So I had to filter through thousands and thousands of photos from the trip. I had no time and I filtered through it with the presets. I applied presets to what I thought were the best photos. I entered those photos and I ended up winning that incredible award. So um, these are these presets really, really work. So you get three presets collections as part of this bundle. So these photography post processing tools, these presets create beautiful photos faster and easier than ever before. You save time with your post processing. You save yourself the pain of moving endless sliders in Photoshop and it jump starts your photo processing. So you might be thinking that Lightroom is too complicated, but these presets remove the stress of needing to learn a new program. With the mobile presets, you can even do this on your phone. So the value of the Photography Post-Processing Tools Bundle is $540 for these four collections that you're going to get as part of the bundle that comes with the Masterclass. So here's what you're going to get so far. There is the master class, and then you have the closed group, the mastermind, and then you get the collection of four different collections of post-processing tools, and the total value is $2,034. But I'm including even more. You're also going to get the Jumpstart Bundle. Now, this is especially relevant and important if you are a beginner photographer. Take a look at the class on the right, Photography Jumpstart. This is a standalone photography course that I created that will take you from being a beginner to a very solid intermediate. And on the left, there is Lightroom Jumpstart. If you have never used Lightroom before, this takes you from being a beginner, again, to becoming a solid intermediate Lightroom user. And even if you are already an experienced photographer, these two courses just give you an awesome brush up 
on all the skills that you need for camera settings, compositions, and then over on the post-processing side using Lightroom. So the Jumpstart Bundle helps you master the essentials of photography and camera settings. And you can also copy my simple step-by-step -step photo post-processing in Lightroom. So let's hear what Wendy Klein has to say about this. Uh, she took the Photography Jumpstart class and she wrote in and said, this course is for everyone who is wanting to learn from basics right through to more advanced. It is the best explained photography course I've seen. I highly recommend this course as you will not be disappointed. So the Jumpstart Bundle, you may be thinking that you can't use it because you already know the basics, but it's not an issue because these trainings serve as the perfect brush up for the advanced photographer. The total value of both of these courses together is $297. So here's where we're at so far. We've got the master class, then we've got the closed group, the mastermind. We've got the collection of four post-processing tools and the jumpstart bundle. And the total value here is $2,331. I'm also including something else to really sweeten the deal here and make this just an irresistible offer that's going to help you so much. I'm including my set of three the easy way classes. So we've got how to create an HDR panorama faster and easier. That's the one on the left. The second one is Photoshop editing the easy way. And the third one is how to use presets to create stunning photos the easy way. So these are step-by-step -step tutorials that use my system so that you can learn the easy way. I am excluding all the techno babble and the extra extra details that are usually in photography courses so that you will just learn easy techniques and tricks that are normally complicated. You only learn the need to know items. I get straight to the point and the classes are bite sized so you can watch them in one sitting. You might be thinking that you can't use this because you don't have the time or money to travel to interesting locations, but that's not true because you can use this system to create extraordinary photos anywhere, even if you are staying very close to home. So the total value of this collection of the Easy Way classes is $290. Take a look at everything that's included. We've got the master class, the closed group mastermind, the post-processing tools, those were the presets, the jumpstart bundle of those two courses, and then the easy way classes, the total value is $2,621. So here's a question. If all this program did was help you create stunning pieces of artwork that helped you win photography awards and sell prints, would it be worth it? If all it did was help you overcome your own internal doubts and fears about not being able to create beautiful quality photography, would it be worth it? And if all this did was help you create consistently exceptional photographs, even when you are taking pictures with your phone, would it be worth it? Now, obviously I'm not going to charge you $2,600, but if I did charge you that much, and all it did was to show you exactly how to create stunning landscape and travel photos that you will want to print and put on your wall for the same cost as a good camera, would this be worth it to you? So I had two choices when I was putting together this masterclass bundle. I could either make it cheap or I could make it valuable. Now, here's another question. If you were able to create magazine quality photos, what would that be worth to you? It's an open-ended question. How about if you could create photos that helped you win photography awards or make sales or just make yourself incredibly proud of your own artwork what would that be worth to you? So this photography transformation four-step system has a $2,621 value. The regular price on it is $997, but I am going to give you a scholarship today because you are here with me on this webinar. You have demonstrated that you are an action taker and I want to see you transform your photography. So I made this bundle as affordable as I possibly could. Today, the Photography Transformation 4-Step System, you're not going to pay $2,621, which is the value. You're not going to pay the $997 regular price. The special price is $297. Now this is valid for the next 60 minutes. 
and then the price goes up to the price that is on my website right now, which is $397. If you go to photographyacademy.com, you will find this course for $397, but for the next 60 minutes, you will be able to get it at $100 off that price for just $297. So you have two choices here. You can either do nothing and your photography is not going to change, your photos are not going to change, you're still going to have the same doubts and fears and hesitations about photography and maybe creating photos you're not overly proud of, or you can take action right now, put your best foot forward and actually get started right away to make a massive change in your photography and take the photos that you have been dreaming of for your entire life. Now here's what's really beautiful about this. You have nothing to lose. You have no risk whatsoever because of my guarantee. If the photography transformation four step system doesn't help you create magazine quality photos that you are proud of without paying exorbitant amounts of money for a new camera gear, then I will refund your money within 60 days of purchase. I'm taking the risk. So the real question is, is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out? Even if it only does half of what I'm claiming today, it will pay for itself with time saved and gorgeous photos gained. So I'm going to sweeten the pot just one last little bit and make this an even more amazing offer for you because I'm adding on one final bonus to this masterclass bundle. So the bonus is this series of six classes, it's called my start to finish classes. And in these classes, I take you out with me in the field, I show you how I find my composition for each of the photos that are on each of those boxes there, and how I set up my camera, and then exactly how I did the post processing. So here are the first three, how to shoot fireworks photos, how to capture sunbursts, and how to find a composition in a busy forest. This is such an important skill to know because it's oftentimes so difficult to find a good composition when, when things are busy. The other three classes are how to create natural looking HDR photos, uh, a simple camera trick that creates stunning foregrounds, and how to create fog and sunbeams even when there is no fog. So these six photography from start to finish classes that I just showed you is where I show you from field to finish how to find compositions, how to make the camera settings, how to choose focus points and how to do the post processing. I break down the exact process I use to create award winning photography. You might be thinking you can't use this because you don't have a professional grade camera like I do. But the truth is that these start to finish expert master trainings apply to any type of camera or gear and the value of them is $582. So here's what you're going to get in total. We've got the photography transformation four step system masterclass. We have the closed group, the mastermind. We've got all the presets. Those are the post processing tools. We have the two courses, photography jumpstart and Lightroom Jumpstart, that's the Jumpstart bundle. We have the three Photography the Easy Way classes, and finally, the six Photography from Start to Finish classes, and the total value of all this is $3,203. So I hope that you're going to get started now and really start to transform your photography right away. This is not going to be a long process for you once you get going on the masterclass. I've seen dramatic turnarounds in people's photography, students that have taken this masterclass in just weeks and not months. So I'm going to answer a couple of questions for you. The first question that I get a lot is uh, regarding the devices. How do I watch these classes? Well, these are classes that are on video. You will get a password and a login link, uh, very similar to Netflix, so that you can log in using your phone, log in using your tablet, your iPad, or log in using your computer or all three of them. You can watch the classes at any time. You can come back to them. You have lifetime access. And it is, as I said before, like watching Netflix because you can watch a little bit one night, come back to it the next night. You can wait a week and then come back to it and watch it again. So you have lifetime ownership. Another question I have is regarding closed captioning. Do we have subtitles? Yes, you can turn on or off subtitles in English that are closed caption. 
Another question is uh, regarding travel that uh, sometimes people say, well, it's really great, Tim, that you've been traveling, but I'm staying close to home. I don't want to leave home. And how am I going to be able to find good photos? Well, great question. And I address this in module number one of the masterclass. This is what module one is all about. It's about doing research in a specific way using free apps and tools online so that you can find places and locations that are close to home that you probably don't even know about so that you can get out there at exactly the right time uh, to catch the beautiful light and capture some amazing photos. It's, it is truly amazing what you can capture near home and even at home, even in your backyard, especially in the summertime when flowers are out and you don't need to travel far from home in order to be able to get great photos. So another question, what about wildlife photos? What about quick shots from a moving car? Do I address that? Yes, I most definitely do. All of the teaching applies to wildlife photography or even people photography. Uh, any type of photography really is, for the most part, covered in the class. Now the class does not go into detail on portrait photos. This is not a class about baby photography, but it is a class about general outdoor photography, travel photography, taking photos of wildlife or any type of an outdoor scene generally. Uh, next question, I'm a beginner. Will this help me? Uh, because I don't really like the technical stuff. I don't like camera settings and I don't understand them. Well, this is a course that you are going to find so helpful if you are in that situation. Even if you don't understand the technical stuff, I explain all of this in such a way so that anyone can understand it. And without all of the techno babble that you normally hear in photography courses, I simplify it and teach you just the stuff that you need to know. Next question, I am an advanced photographer. Uh, will this help me? I, th I already think that I understand everything. Even if you are an advanced photographer, you are going to be pulling nuggets of gold out of this class. And it's going to teach you things that you just aren't aware of now. It's the old saying, you don't know what you don't know. And the older I get, the more I realize that I don't know. I, I can think that I know a lot about everything, but in reality, I don't. And it is of great benefit to have someone who has already done the research, put in the time, and who has the experience, who can show you the quick and easy ways to turn around your photography and get it to the next level. So even if you are advanced, like in the case of Wendy Klein, who I showed you at the very beginning of this presentation, she was already an advanced photographer and yet she still got amazing value out of the masterclass. Uh, next question, I don't have time to watch this. Well, that's not a problem at all. You can watch 10 minutes one night, wait a few days and watch another 10 minutes, then watch another 10 minutes. So even if you don't have time, you can always find the time to take in this video content. Even if you are lying in bed, watching it on your phone, you can easily find the time to get through the video content. You don't have to do it in a week. You have lifetime access. You can do it whenever you feel that you have the opportunity. Uh, next question, do I need to have Lightroom? And that's a really great question. You don't need to have it. Um, if you want to take your photography really to the next level and add drama to your photos and make your photos pop, then you do need to start learning to use some type of photo editing software. Now, I have found that Lightroom is the easiest to learn. It's very cheap. I show you where you can get it through Adobe for only $9.99 per month. And if you use other types of photo editing software, such as Luminar or On One or any of the others that are out there, the tips and techniques that I show you in the post-processing module can be easily used on those other types of photo editing software, such as Luminar. I specifically made the post-processing module so that regardless of which post-processing software you are using, you are going to find great value out of the techniques that I'm showing you. And last question, uh, the price, $297. Uh, 
Uh, is this a good price? Yes, this is a screaming deal is what it is. If you compare in photography this $297 price with what you can buy in terms of photography gear, it makes this purchase a no-brainer. You can't even get a cheap camera for $297. You can't get a good lens for $297. You can't get a, a very high quality tripod even for $297. In my view, this $297 is the best money you will ever spend on your photography because being a good photographer and being able to create amazing photos has very little to do with the gear and equipment that you have, but it has everything to do with your own knowledge of how to use your camera and how to do the post-processing and most importantly how to find the a beautiful composition how to be at the right place at the right time so for the next 60 minutes this will be on sale for you at with the 100 dollars off scholarship for just 297 dollars. i want to show you what some of my other students have said about this master class so if we go to my website which is photographyacademy.com and you click on reviews up here in the top and just scroll down just a little bit past the video reviews now these are the reviews that have come in on facebook uh, from students who have taken the photography transformation class I'm not going to take up all of your time by trying to read a lot of these, but just look how many there are. These are verified reviews from real people just like you who have taken this master class and who have found amazing value from it. Just look at them all. Um, so many of the comments that are really the same theme is coming out, like this is amazing value for the money. It's money well spent. It has improved my photography. It's not just information. It's a transformation or uh, the ones that I really love hearing, like I was a beginner and now I've won photography awards or now I'm selling my work. It's, it's uh, gratifying for me as the creator of this four step system to read these types of testimonials. And since we're here, let's just talk about the presets for a second. These are reviews that have come in from Facebook just on the presets collection that is included with the masterclass. Just read some of these headlines that we have here, like what an amazing bundle. Wow, what a difference. I'm very happy about these. What a time saver for me. Love it. I purchased your presets and must admit, they are amazing. So these are the reviews just on the presets. I love this one, just a one-liner, love them. So powerful. And then remember we had the uh, photography jumpstart class that's included with the bundle. Well, these are reviews that came in just on that one course alone because I sell it on its own. And uh, little one-liners, this course is actually is excellent really enjoyed this course great information a lot of useful information this is a very good course great information and techniques this course is awesome so that's on the photography jumpstart class and then if i scroll down a little more we've also got some reviews on the lightroom jumpstart class awesome course i learned so much tim's lightroom course is fantastic uh, take your course is the best thing I've ever done. I'm so happy I signed up. I see a massive improvement right away. So these are the type of reviews that, uh, as I mentioned, they come from real people just like you. And I have no doubt that if you apply yourself to the training, you are going to be able to experience the exact same transformation in your photography that all of these other photographers have also experienced. Now, here's one way of looking at this transformation, and it's the concept of time versus money. Here's the thing, every month money replenishes, right? But this is the key, time does not replenish, it disappears. So you could go out and spend months or years of your valuable time to figure photography out, but you will never get that time back. Instead, you could save that time and effort because I have already spent it for you and you can work directly with me instead. It will cost you a bit of money to get started and I should say it'll cost you a lot less than even the cost of a new camera lens, but that money will come back, it replenishes, whereas the time away from your family in trial and error trying to figure out photography and post-processing is wasted and it's gone forever. Work with me and let me help you save time. 
you will save years of time through this four-step transformation system. Another thing is that habits are really hard to change. I could leave the webinar right now and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. I am already successful with photography, and this is already working for me. But this is not about me, it's about you. If you leave right now, by morning tomorrow, you will already have slipped back into your normal routines with your normal skill level with photography, right? You will just do what you've always done, and that's what most people do. But because I'm trying to be the role of your coach and your mentor, I don't want you to slip back into the old photography habits. I want to make sure you are successful with new photography skills by using my four-step system. And if you want real lasting change, you need the training that is involved in this photography transformation four-step system. And that is what you will get when you invest today. And as I've mentioned previously in this presentation, this is not information alone. You can get information anywhere. You can get information for free. But the problem with information that it's information overload is like drinking from a fire hose and working by yourself and gleaning information where you can find it is not the fastest way to photography success. The fastest way is to rely on the coaching and the experience of someone who has already gone before you. And that person is me. And that's why I hope that you will take advantage and invest in the photography transformation four step system because it is the result of probably, I would say 15 to 20 years of my photography experience and learning. It has helped me to win awards and I know that it can help you win awards too. It's a simplified system that you can use in a step by step format in any photography situation that will help you find the things to photograph and when to photograph them and how to create a beautiful photograph of your dreams. So you really have two choices. You can take the first option, which is to do nothing and not take this leap of faith, which by the way is 100% risk-free. And your second option is to pony up this very small investment today compared to the value that you're going to get in return and just give it a shot. See if it will work for you. And if it doesn't, for whatever reason, you will get your money back. There is no risk and you have nothing to lose but stress and headaches. And I'm guessing that there are two kinds of people listening to me right now. You're either a doer or you are a dabbler. Dabblers love to sit and listen and learn, but they rarely ever do anything and often look for any excuse to not move forward. But some of you are doers. You're not sure how this is going to work for you, but you see that it's worked for me and for other people, so you have faith that it will work for you as well. And what I found is that it's the doers who get ahead in life, while the dabblers don't really seem to progress. So I hope that you will take action as a doer and take that leap of faith. You have nothing to lose with the guarantee that I have. So. If you are still on the fence, now is the time to click on the button below, take a look at the sales page that I have on my website, photographyacademy.com, and get started. Take action. Remember, there's no risk. I have a 100% money back guarantee, but the only way for you to know this is right for you is to get started right now. You can sign up and you could be watching video number one for lesson number one, which is uh, step one of my four step system. You could be watching this five minutes from now and I know that you will not be disappointed. And again, you have nothing to lose because I have money back guarantee. So I am going to sign off now and I hope that you will take action. Click the button that's on your screen in order to read all about the program but you do have only 60 minutes before the webinar special with a $100 scholarship is gone and then the price goes back up to the regular price that is on my website which is $397. So I hope you'll take action now, get it for $297 while you can and I very much look forward to seeing your name and your photographs inside the mastermind. I interact with all students inside the mastermind. I get to know them very well and it makes me incredibly happy and proud when I see my students with the photography successes that we've seen so far. Some of them are just incredible. The turnaround in people's skill level and artistic creation abilities is amazing.
to to see people go from real beginner and novice into the realm of being an advanced photographer in a short period of time, like just sort of, a, let's just say for within a month, four weeks, it is extremely satisfying for me to see and it makes me proud. And um, I look forward to seeing you inside the Photography Transformation Mastermind. So take care, everybody. Happy shooting, and I wish you all the best with your photography. Bye-bye.